Hey, welcome. This is another video about uh, scale. Scale is important and scale is something particular to Arc Linux. Scale killed my settings. We keep it around because it's important, as is the tweak tool, as is Calamaris. These are things you should know. And I've just put on Discord this link and um, we have the information about scale here. And I'm going to make an additional video, so it's coming in the additional playlist all about scale. So scale has been explained since Arch Merch, right? 163. So it's an old thing. Now, it's best maybe I should read the most important part here. You don't need to use scale. We use scale as developers and beta testers. We do that. Why? Because we want to copy paste the new configurations that are going to come on the next ISO over on our home directory. So we're overwriting settings in our home directory because we want to know, do the settings work? The next ISO, will the next ISO work for our users, right? So that's why scale is there. And scale is just a copy paste from ETC scale, put it over in your home directory and just became a little bit more complex because we made also a backup in here making a backup of your config folder as well. So you don't lose any stuff and you have a backup scale, well, a .config backup. So now settings are lost. That's good to know. You can compare both folders and put everything back the way you like it or just copy paste all over. It's all good. The thing is, again, scale is for developers and beta testers. But that being said, it is an easy way to get to stay rolling because if you do a clean installation, you'll get a little bit different things, an alias extra, uh, some tweaks here, tweaks there. It's nothing. It's really 90.9% .9 it's going to be the same, but it's these small things, the tweaks do we do. Now this video is going to be about, hey, what if I never ever want to update my system? Whatever is in scale, I don't care. I've set it up, it's done, and I like it the way it is. You don't need to give me any improvements. You don't need to change anything. I'll do with my uh, aliases the way it is and with all the rest. So this is what you want to get rid of then. If you never ever want to have uh, an update, so if you don't want to stay rolling and you don't care, but you say the system is great as it is, and if you type per accident the word scale, four letters, then it's going to copy paste everything over and everything is gone, right? It's overwritten. If you have a bash RC, it's overwritten. If you have a set SH RC, it's overwritten. So the only thing, if you, it's a good exercise, a good thinking exercise, is if, and this is open box by the way, so super six tiles and super four tiles. What if I start doing this? Arco Linux bin. What's happening? The bin folder will never be overwritten. The bin folder is gone. I do a scale now. There is no bin. So there's no overwriting, overwriting anything, right? So that's how it works. So if you really say, I want to use scale, they should never ever touch my, and then you go ahead, go ahead and have a look. Uh, what else to see? There is the Arco Linux. Oh yeah, so always remove, right? Minus R, Arco Linux. There's something about local. There's a local applications and the Arco Linux local XFCE. What's gonna happen? Okay. They're gone. Okay, so this is what you could do, and it's actually we're we're breaking it down, and rather than building it up, we're uh, demolishing it. Right? That's all all good. It's it's your system. Arcolex XFCE profiles. That's that one. Panel. Arcolex XFCE four. I'm missing a four here. Panel profiles. Oh, it's gone. There is no local anymore. And you feel, of course, you that's the way to go, right? So Pac-Man minus R 
never want to have a batch or C update ever again from us. And um, that's cool. That's cool. It's all cool. We're happy. You're on my collects. That's it. That's gone as well. I see a ZSHRC, which is also a package. And off you are. That's gone. So you keep on deleting things like that. Some of the things probably are not coming from us, from us so that's actually a good exercise for me. But uh, let's keep going in the dot config. So sudo pacman minus r. So we're stripping down, um, well, packages and uh, xfc for instance is there. xfc folder is gone. Thunar is gone too. Yep. So that's that. And actually, we can actually type this. This is installed on your system. You have to figure out what's inside my skull. I3 is inside your skull. And I3 is gone. Genie is in there, I see. Genie is gone. And you go ahead and delete more and more stuff. This is gonna get rid of a lot. That's good. Don't like conkeys, great. Don't use conkeys. I'm just moving everything away, but you're never ever gonna get an update, all right? That's, that's the deal. You don't wanna have any change anymore the way it's set up. You like it, you love it, and you don't want to have anything. The deconf is gone. Quantum is there. Quantum is gone. New fetch, you don't like new fetch at all. Maybe you want to keep this one, right? So that's, that's a control T. Maybe you like that one. Okay, so let's assume you like it. Nitrogen is there as well. Nitrogen settings are gone. OB menu generator. Uh, yep, you can get rid of it, but you make sure everything keeps working in your home directory, right? That's the deal. OB menu generator is out. I see open box there. And there are two open boxes, git and themes. Okay. Now you have to keep, if you're planning on keeping open box, then you need to keep the themes. But um, you can get rid of this one because that's in here. That's the ET scale. The themes are somewhere else. User share and so on. You keep that one. I see plank there. Let's just keep going, but you know what I'm gonna do all the time. Look for parts that I can delete that are in etc scale. Rofi. Now the Rofi themes and the Rofi git. So, yep, that's gone. Polybar. Gone. Tin2 gone and that's why we have of course so many packages we can really tweak elements package per package and not just a big etc scale no we can really make it a choice to actually do this do that and welcome maybe you don't like the welcome app but i'm afraid Linux welcome app you'll need to delete the application um, otherwise Will stay there so there's no application anymore Arclinux welcome app control alt w is not working execute application it's not there but hey it's your system you want to have a clean config that's what we're aiming at right when we type scale nothing gets copied over because there is nothing to copy we are emptying emptying oh, what a word we're uh, making sure dot config is empty so neo fetch and termite let's assume we hate those as well um, so that's termite teams no um, termite teams yeah true termite teams that's the one we need to get rid of and the other one is neofetch and now we've really cleaned it all out so basically this is coming from somewhere else this has no package this is not packaged by us uh, let's see this is coming from the build purely remove 
These are things I can still remove. The arc themes, that's not in ETC scale, so I'm just gonna look at things that should be in ETC scale. And um, they're all not in ETC scale, they're all somewhere else, but not in ETC scale. And that's correct. So the rest is in share, user, share, stuff like that. So there you go, another video about scale, um, explaining, trying to explain what it's all about. So we put a package with content in ETC scale, when you build an ISO, and we are, we are builders, right? Arclinks B, when, we, when you build an ISO and you put your own package in there, you get your own settings. So that's the next step. Brett uh, F, and uh, let's go for this one. Bobo and Brad. So I'm talking about these two guys. Hefters, well, sorry, Hefters repo and Bobo's repo. These two guys have their own repo. You can build your own repo with your own XFCE settings, your own Plasma settings, and your own PSP settings. And what you'll have to do is make sure they end up in ETC scale. So you put them here, you build an ISO, Calamaris will copy paste everything that's inside ETC scale to your future system, home directory, Eric, it's gonna contain all of this that we just now deleted, right? That's why scale is so essential. That's why ETC scale is, is, is used to put configurations on the home directory of the user. But since we're rolling, and if you wanna keep rolling, you need to get the new data in, the new configurations in, and that's why we just said rather than control A, control C, Eric, and then control V, we said, let's make an alias for that because we're getting tired of making uh, these copy pastes, right? So that's um, another way of doing things. So at this point in time, whenever I type a skill, then where was it again? There's nothing here, right? So this is the only thing that's here and the bash or C is maybe something you can delete, but I think it's gonna be a manual delete them. With Discord, sorry, I thought it was all not working here. So if you do a scale, your badge RC will be overwritten with this one. So if you really want to clean everything out, you know what to do. You do a pseudo remove inside ETC scale and say just get rid of everything there. Do a scale, it's gonna happen. Nothing really, it's gonna make a copy of the current things, but it says, well, I cannot, cannot copy this because there is no, just nothing there. So even if you make a mistake and you type your scale command by automatic reflection, right? It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna copy paste anything because there is nothing to copy paste. All right, another approach, another idea. This is scale. Cheers.